Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Roadshow. Today, we're joined by Mr. Robert Powelson. He is a director on the board of Capstone Turbine, the world's leading clean technology manufacturer of microturbine energy systems. Their stock trades in the NASDAQ under ticker CPST. To date, Capstone has shipped nearly 10,000 units to 83 countries, and in fiscal year 20, saved customers an estimated $219 million in annual energy costs and 368,000 tons of carbon. Mr. Powelson is the current president and chief executive officer of the National Association of Water Companies, or the NAWC, based in Washington, and he's the former commissioner on the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. Good morning, Robert, and welcome to the show. Mike, great to be with you. First, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Um, for the better part of about 15 to 20 years now, I've been in the, the regulatory space. Uh, back in uh, the mid-2000s, I joined the Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission. I was appointed by Democratic Governor Ed Rendell as a Republican, uh, served uh, as chairman of the PAPUC under Governor Tom Corbett, and then briefly under the current governor, Governor Tom Wolf. And then uh, was appointed and confirmed by the U.S. Senate to serve in, in the capacity of commissioner on the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, and uh, came back to my roots, which is really uh, <laughs> the water infrastructure world. And uh, here I am today, still dabbling in energy infrastructure. And uh, it's actually a really exciting time. And it's good to be with you to talk about the Capstone story. So Robert, with your tremendous experience and background in the energy space, I'm sure you could have easily joined various other companies, board of directors. What was the primary reason that you ultimately selected Capstone Turbine uh, to serve on its board? Like, I think it starts with the fact that uh, you look at the technology and you, you look at the fact that we're an industry leader and you look at the trends uh, looking out over the next decade, where, where's the grid headed and what are customers uh, demanding from not only utilities, but what they want to do behind the meter. And that's really where Capstone from a sustainability perspective to a reliability perspective, not to mention the affordability piece where large industrial customers, small commercial industrial customers, colleges, universities, healthcare providers are looking to build into their operations um, what Capstone provides them in this micro turbine, micro grid technology. And you know, the, 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 the fact that, uh, you know, we have a, a very robust sales uh, and marketing effort uh, with a worldwide, world-class product and a great distribution channel, um, we're, we're really on, the, on a, in a kind of a very positive glide path right now. If you look at most corporations in this country right now with the development of what we call ESG goals, and those ESG goals um, really run the gamut, but part of that is energy procurement. And I think this is where Capstone is going to play a very critical role where companies that are looking to kind of decarbonize their footprint look towards technologies in the distributed energy resource market. And that's where I think Capstone has tremendous upside. Uh, and the fact of the matter is it's a, it's a technology that's been around. And uh, that's one of the things that I, I like about the management team is the, uh, I call it the stick to to the mission. You know, there certainly has been some stormy seas out there in this market. You know, you don't buy you know, a capstone uh, unit. Uh, it's not like a, you know, a, a deal gets done in a week here. These are uh, planning cycles that facilities managers make. Um, and, and I think again, as people look at the technology, whether it's here in the Philadelphia region at the FMC building or the old Four Seasons property, um, people, you know, or UGI corporate headquarters in Denver, Pennsylvania, People look to us as a technology leader, and uh, I think it speaks to Darren Jamison's vision uh, of where he wants to take the company. So that's really what brings me to this. You know, you're right. I've, you know, a lot of opportunities out there. You know, uh, spent you know working in the you know the Marcellus and, and uh, competitive power market generation, and uh, knew about Capstone, believe it or not, through my Pennsylvania PUC role, where with the development of the Marcellus Shale which represents you know, an unbelievable opportunity for this country. But through the development of Marcellus, we took a comprehensive approach in Pennsylvania to look at ways we could harness Marcellus development beyond the wellhead. Look at the downstream opportunity. What incentives could we provide? And what came to the forefront was investment 
in microgrid technologies and combined heat and power systems. And that's really where I came across Capstone. It's been over a decade ago. Um, 